Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My brothers and sisters in Islam, there is a principle in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us. Learn this and apply it for the rest of your life. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "In ahsantum ahsantum li anfusikum wa in asatum falaha." Very simple. In ahsantum, if you are to do good, then you do good for your own self. If you do good in terms of words, you speak good words, dhikr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, recite the Quran, good words with the people, good words with your relatives, with your friends, and also ahsantum goodness, goodness in your actions. You worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of praying and fasting, zakat, wal hajj, uh, wal sadaqat. Uh, you also do good when dealing with the people, when dealing with the people, all of this, any time you do good, in ahsantum, that's the rule, any time you do good, ahsantum li anfusikum, then you're actually doing good for yourself. Meaning all the reward that is generated from this goodness of yours is going to be packaged and given to you on the day of judgment. There is goodness for you, for you, you, you. Every goodness you do, you're the one that benefits from it, primarily, first and foremost. Not Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah doesn't benefit from our goodness and benefit from our worships. It is us that benefit from it. In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum. How beautiful is this and how encouraging is this since mankind always like to look out for themselves and see what brings them benefit and they put their hands in it, you know? So when I know there's a business deal out there that will make me money and make me rich, then, you know, I'm willing to spend those extra hours and that extra effort to sign up with this business deal. So when you know that your deeds, you're the one that benefits from it, this is incredibly inspirational for mankind, especially for the believer to get up and move and do goodness for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, because you're doing it for yourself. You're the one that will be benefiting from it. So doing good is healthy for your spiritual state, for your physical state, for your mental state. It is good for you financially, socially, any kind of goodness you do, it is good for you in all realms of life. In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum. And so the 10 days of the Hijjah are coming. So begin to uh, plan out in your mind now to invest a lot of time and a lot of effort in these 10 days so that you can do goodness and worship Allah Azza wa Jal in them so that on the day of judgment you stand before Allah Azza wa Jal and He grants you the reward of the good you did. He grants it all to you. In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum. And then Allah Azza wa Jal, He says to us, وَإِنْ أَسَأْتُمْ فَلَهَا And if you do isa'ah, if you do evil, if you speak evil words, bad words, if you do bad actions and bad deeds, فَلَهَا Then you are doing it against yourself. فَلَهَا أَيْ فَعَلَيْهَا you're doing these bad deeds against yourself. You're the, ones, you're the one that will cop the consequences of the bad. You're the one that will be troubled on the day of judgment with this bad. You're the one that will suffer its consequences in this life, in the grave and in the afterlife. Is it, does it make sense? Does it make logical sense that someone would like to bring harm upon himself? When you do bad deeds and engage in bad actions, then this is exactly what you're doing. You're bringing harm upon yourself. And it is much worse to do evil and to do bad deeds during the sacred months. And we are in the final days of Dhul Qa'dah and we're heading towards Dhul Hijjah. And Dhul Qa'dah Dhul Hijjah is from the sacred months in which Allah Azza wa Jal specifically prohibits that we transgress and we do bad deeds. Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ But remember my brothers and sisters in Islam, even though you've made a lot of bad and you've engaged in a lot of transgression and haram and whatever it is of the wrong you've done, there is an opportunity of tawbah so long as you're still alive. And the tawbah that you will do right now is going to benefit you. It will cleanse your soul, it will clean your heart and it will prepare you for death and it will prepare you for the meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we have an opportunity coming these 10 days of the Hijjah. So I want you, I want you to, to write this ayah. In ahsantum ahsantum li anfusikum wa in asa'tum falaha. I want you to write this ayah in big clear words and hang it up 
hang it up in your room and keep reading it every morning that you wake up for these 10 days of the Hijjah so that your heart is energized and it's charged to worship Allah Azza wa Jal and to avoid sins and to avoid evil actions. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to grant us the strength and the ability that we worship Him throughout our life until the day we meet Him. We ask Him Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to give us extra energy and strength that we worship Him, especially during these first 10 days of the Hijjah. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to purify us and cleanse our souls and our hearts and prepare us for His meeting. Bi'ithnihi ta'ala, wallahu alam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.